Welcome to Mama My Strength Family Day. Friends, if you like this video, do subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. Hi, friends, how are you? Today, we are going on a road trip to San Francisco in Fremont. So, we are starting off our journey right now. And as you know that San Francisco is very much famous for its fast food, its lifestyle, cable cars and Golden Gate. It's a very beautiful city. The houses and the sceneries they are very beautiful. You also have the airport um, there and you have got all other facility there. Uh, it is a very expensive city to live in compared to other cities this is simply because of the wide variety of nightlife that it has it's famous for its beaches as well it has lovely resorts and breathtaking views the bridges are there um, the way they have been structured the way they have been designed is so beautiful and yes, in order to um, get into San Francisco or to retrieve back from San Francisco, um, a gate fee is charged for entering the, stay, uh, the city. Uh, San Francisco is part of California. And most of the Hindi movies or Bollywood movies have been shot already there. Right now you can see the scenery, it's so beautiful, plus the day is also beautiful, but guys, the temperature is still in hundreds, which is why the traffic in San Francisco or, or the traffic that is going to San Francisco is high and you will continuously face this type of traffic. Right now, you can notice that the road is very busy. And while watching the video throughout, you will notice the number of vehicles you will see. Now here, the speed limit is also posted on the board. So you have to maintain the same speed limit while you are driving on the freeway. Right now we are using the freeway because we are traveling towards San Francisco. Friends, I have already mentioned in my other videos if you are a frequent traveler make sure that you pack your gears in advance and you carry them with you in your private vehicles or rental for example if you have kids make sure you have their potties with you their brief with you extra water bottle with you uh, uh, extra clothes with you shoes with you jacket with you um, at the same time you will need some snack item some food item already in advance carry your own drink also carry kids medication plus your medication your mask and your hand sanitizers with you if you have kids with you make sure you have got extra pillows and blankets with you use um, uh, you know for example if they are tired they can nap out Try to have their uh, writing pad, coloring book, at the same time tablet or handheld game which is just like $9 uh, on eBay and Amazon. And at the same time, um, you will have peace of mind if you have all the gears pre-packed with you. Because this way the kids will not be creating fuss with you and you will be relaxed because you know that if, you, if there's any emergency you have got all the gears with you guys important thing if i mentioned um, that you need to carry all gears that doesn't mean that you uh, neglect the first aid kit with you always carry a personal first aid kit in your handbag and keep it inside your car as well make sure you have the alcohol bottle with you 
um this is not the drinking alcohol this is for uh, medication purpose medical purpose uh, it's a um, antiseptic that helps heal wounds have bandages with you guys as you know san francisco weather always changes before we started our traveling uh we found rain and at the same time uh when we reached the area we also found rain but then it stopped and this is one of the coldest city also but right now today the weather is beautiful as you know it's summer here and look at the scenery already uh san francisco has got a lot of mountains you will find fast food restaurants such as mcdonald kfc wendy's a taco bell uh, throughout walmart and other shopping stores each uh, each city or each sub town has their own shopping complex now in this video apart from uh, san francisco we will also be uh, returning back home um uh, from freeway uh, sorry freemount um side freemount is another city uh you might have noticed freemount in another video of mine as well so here we are traveling under the bridge over the bridge <laughs> trying to go up and down the mountains roller skating oh uh, you can say in the mountain area here you will notice on my right hand side you can see the shopping complex already there service stations are there or you can say gas stations and look at the traffic that is coming from uh, san francisco right now you have seen that the traffic has reduced by goodness but if you will clearly see my video um you will see that the traffic is still ahead now in front of me the white vehicle that you are seeing is actually carrying was actually carrying uh, the horses inside look at the traffic from both direction you can see heavy traffic friends if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and also hit the bell icon so that i know that my effort has been appreciated and um, my message has reached you guys now friends um my personal suggestion is that if you do not wish to keep uh, for example if you don't have a garage um and you do not uh, wish to keep your things inside the car because of the weather purpose etc then i would suggest prepack the bags with you in advance so that you can um oh, when you are traveling you can uh keep it in the car for example um you can always carry or oh, your gears on a friday with you a uh, packet in your car so that if you need anything on friday saturday and sunday you will have it and then sunday afternoon you can always take it out wash it and repack it if you haven't used used it then it's good for you uh friends another thing that i wanted to mention to you guys here in this video we are actually going to san francisco for a picnic my daughter loves water and san francisco has got beautiful beach and the water there is connected with pacific ocean so um if you are from fiji you know uh what pacific ocean means because we all are connected with pacific ocean i am an islander and i love uh fiji i love um uh, um everything about fiji so um when i travel towards san francisco it reminds me of fiji environment as well 
when it comes to the mountains, the greenery and the ocean. Like these are some of the places that you will find in Nandi, Ladoka and towards the bar area. San Francisco is also, um, as I mentioned, is famous for its nightlife. It's a fast city and I've also mentioned that it is very expensive to live in San Francisco. The apartment rents are very very high compared to other cities and people really uh, do very hard work uh, in San Francisco that is actually living in those areas. Uh, before you uh, enter into San Francisco, you will also find Six Flag. It's um, um, it's a kids' uh, play area. Plus, uh, you know, they have these famous swings, animals, uh, water uh, park, etc. You will find um, this on your right hand side, Six Flags, it's very famous. You have all the famous roller coaster rides in it. It's very beautiful. We have already been there um, almost a couple of times. Yes, the ticket is a little expensive, but sometimes if you pre-book it, you do get discounts. So as I mentioned to you that we are traveling uh, to San Francisco for a mini picnic because my daughter wanted to go to the beach so which is why we're taking her plus the temperature here is in hundreds. Now uh, friends I wanted to mention to you guys um, if you will search online for pop-up tent it's very very useful if you have kids and you are going for picnic. There are tents uh, that can easily be installed uh, at the beach and they don't need any um, manpower, you, um, one person can do it and it's very good if you are traveling with kids, they can enjoy the sand plus they can have some shade. We are also carrying, uh, we also keep this folding chairs um, that is easy to carry, it's very lightweight. lightweight. So, you know, and a mat uh, with us so that, you know, we can enjoy the picnic atmosphere. Now, if you have kids, you can also have their sand bucket uh, and spade, etc. Toys that they can use at the sand. My daughter loves her sand gear, so we keep these things. And both my husband and my daughter loves water. They love swimming and they can travel to beaches for like three four days they love water so much so guys look at the traffic on my uh, left hand side you can see the number of vehicles returning and you while i was talking you might be seeing in my videos that these things were common because, like I said, San Francisco is a very busy city. The reception also is very good here. Now you can see the bridges and the towers near us. We're just about to enter the first bridge. You will notice there are two different bridges. One is for going, one is for returning. This way the traffic is not collided and uh, you know, to also control the weight 
some might, uh, you know, he, he, San Francisco uh, Bridge is so famous, it's so big, and at the same time, it's very, very scary because, um, you know, the bridge uh, road is very long, as you can see, and this is just the first one. There are other bridges that you will have to cross. So now we are going up the mountain again. Guys, if your kids are enjoying this uh, video with you, please let the kids also comment and uh, share their views. My videos and channel is very much family oriented. And as you know that my uh, channel has videos on kids education cooking family life as well as parenting traveling um, home organizing decorating etc so I would really uh, encourage you guys to share my video especially with house uh, stay-at-home mommies now that this doesn't mean that if you're stay-at-home mommies and only you have to watch my video there are working moms who can enjoy like I said I have already made videos on time management and how I manage my routine I try to do things in advance so that I'm not occupied guys i've already mentioned you know the temperature is so hot here i can you know i don't know how hard it would be for a motor uh, cycle uh, person who's traveling on a motorbike to travel because you know the the heat is so uh, bad you know it's so hot that you know you cannot stay outside Now in San Francisco you will find a lot of malls, a lot of car dealers. Like I said it's a very expensive city so they have high-end products here. Uh, expensive brands are also available here. Just like New York, Hollywood you will find um, uh, accessories here. They are very classy. But guys I prefer to go and shop uh, in local stores because I can get those items uh, at a cheaper rate even if I shop from um, online I will still be able to save money for me to enjoy high-end product simply means that I definitely need a high-end product that is cheap and that can last long you know and that is something um, you know I'm not gonna sit and cry that I have paid so much for this item this is so valuable you know I, I'm not that type of person and like I've mentioned I like malls my daughter likes malls she does her shopping from the mall my husband does it but for me I personally do not like shopping from malls at all I can visit mall for food purpose meaning to dine or to you know enjoy the food but definitely not for shopping and I've also proved this to my husband um, items that they buy from the mall is much cheaper than the items that you will get uh, from the local stores now guys you will notice the San Francisco houses are very much stick to each other the way they have designed now if you have watched full house it was a, a comedy 
that was uh, made here in uh, it was shot here in US in San Francisco area I grew up watching this uh, particular comedy program it was about three sisters who did not have mom and their uncles three uncles uh, sorry two uncles including their dad was managing them and in that video you were able to see baby Michelle um she is now grown up but the, they were twins and one of the twins was acting in that episode I love talking to you guys and I'm enjoying making videos for you guys. I love um sharing um my experience with you guys and you have become a valuable part of my life. Friends, I'm a housewife and I can understand uh sometimes if you are home you might feel useless. even though you do so much things for everyone you know and sometimes you don't take up time for your own self but please stop thinking this way you are the most valuable person you know and by staying at home don't think that you don't uh, uh, your life is worthless your life is more valuable you can always uh, do um other things that you are interested in doing all you need to do is just manage your time well and i'm sorry to say this i can understand especially in indian communities uh the spouses uh sometimes or the in-laws sometimes might not be able to understand um you know certain things that we wish to do because it might be um affecting their family traditions and things like that then hey why not do something that is within the you know um what i mean to say is that try something that can please all and at the same time you as well now for example if you are living in an extended family you do have dress code criteria like for me and my husband i am not restricted in anything um in the sense i dress according to what i wish to wear but at the same time being a mom being a wife and uh, i have my own limits meaning i don't wear clothes or things that would expose me in a bad way that will bring shameless to my um, you know my husband since i value the freedom that he has given me uh, already even though it's my life and it is my right uh to do things i wish to do but i don't want to do things that can harm my child's future or uh point fingers to my husband because not everybody is lucky uh to get such chances you know and sometimes there are people who get chances and they misuse it like you know they do things uh that affects their child's life that affects their family life that affects their marriage you know so we need to respect these things as well you know if we are surrounded with senior citizens let's value them let's you know we have brains you know so let's make wise use of our brains my friends here we have arrived in san francisco and you can see that the traffic is so high friends you know whatever values we have or, or whatever values we were taught is something that we need to share with our kids give them freedom but at the same time teach them that freedom is not about uh, breaking rules or hurting someone freedom is simply about doing things uh, the right way the best way that can be good for you your future and others future you know 
freedom should be something that helps us grow not helps us be locked up you know in this country um, you know there is no restriction people value modern lives and i also value modern life we have no restrictions for our daughter as well she can do whatever she wants to provide it she understands that you know um she needs to make sure that she doesn't bring uh you know do something that will hurt her that would uh, you know uh, harm her future we encourage her not to follow that we uh, we do encourage her uh, to be part of modern um life at the same time respect her traditions and value it because uh, you know we are what we are born with for example if we are indians it will not change because we were born that way and uh, you know there are a lot of indians some follow their traditions others don't wish to follow tradition it is your choice but you know freedom doesn't you know tradition doesn't mean to uh, you know uh, lock uh, someone's life jail someone or hurt someone that that doesn't mean you know if your religion or traditional uh, if you using your religion or traditional uh, values to do that then you are doing something wrong traditional is all about practicing good things that we learn from our culture so that our we can pass it on to our children and they can use it for their children you know so um, you know life men uh, many time mentioned that uh, all really agent doesn't teach us to do bad things so we should not point fingers at religion or races we should only point fingers at ourselves because it is our mind that makes us do wrong things if we have control over us we will not be able to do these things and you know here we are at the san francisco uh, area we are just about to cross the uh, bridge and like i've mentioned if you're going to be crossing the bridge or using the bridge you have to pay a fee you have to identify uh, how many people you have in the vehicle and where are you going what type of vehicle you have uh, for safety reason at the same time whatever money you will be paying here will be used to maintain the infrastructure of the bridges etc so here we are at the checkpoint and these checkpoints are available uh, in uh, big cities and uh, uh, states please um husbands and wives um or uh, mother in laws sister in laws if you are there watching this video my personal request to you guys is that um being a female we need to respect each other whether it's your sister in law your you know mother in law you know you really need to respect each other you cannot be putting each other down and you cannot be blocking them uh, you know you need to understand you don't know what the other person is going through i would always encourage you to make someone's life rather than destroy someone's life because if something happens to this particular person you will not be able to give that person his or her life back you will not be able to provide correct parenting for their children so why why uh, you know hurt someone well um, you know and to the husbands who understand their wives who are able to allow their wives to grow in their career especially stay at home moms 
for example if they are wanting to make youtube videos some husbands are so understanding that they are able to allow us to do this but at the same time wives we need to understand the limit of making videos you know uh, our dress code uh, to some extent really matters because our body is very much valuable and it is not a showpiece we need to respect it because you know we represent our parents and we also uh, are role models for our own children so um, you know if someone is giving you so much respect allowing you to grow then at least think about that particular person and his or her family if your husband is allowing you and if your in-laws are allowing you then it's good for me if you're traveling with your husband and if he allows you for certain things then go for it but also respect him if your in-laws are allowing you more you are then more than lucky uh, but you also need to respect them and their family lives so family atmosphere you need to have certain dress code and when you are out with your uh, husband you can have another dress code you know um, I hope you are understanding uh, um, so this way if you are able to balance this type of life then you will be able to have a balanced family life you can have peace in your family and please families if you are thinking that um, you have got a small town girl uh, married in your family or a small town boy that has just got married in your family then you can put that particular person down but please don't do that they might be new they might need your help so don't uh, you know pressure them uh, by you know um, ill treating them by making their life hard or by putting them down saying that they are from a small place guys you never know people's life changes just like the time and here we are in the city right now we have just crossed the main bridge so there guys this is San Francisco city it simply feels like that we are uh, traveling on top of buildings right now from the way the road has been designed right now we are entering the main city main city will be busy because of the traffic so guys I want you to enjoy the San Francisco city view and then from the city we will be actually climbing a mountain street you will feel it that it is the mountain because we keep going up so um, we uh, like I said we are going down to the beach so um, you can see um, that we need to cross this particular mountain area to reach the beach San Francisco is very much tourism oriented as well because of the, the view, Golden Gate, fast food, lifestyle. Guys, do remember nobody is small and nobody is big. Time changes and so does life. But always remember our karma is very important in life. Because our karma is what we get. If we do get good to someone, we get good in our life. And you will feel it because God provides good Samaritan throughout our life. 
all we need to know all we need to uh, do is identify you know we all have brains we all know what is right we all know what is wrong so use it you know? if i was in someone else's shoe i will not never make a decision of hurting someone or putting someone down i personally have a daughter and i know one day she will be married so i don't i uh, you know and i'm also someone's daughter i'm also married and i don't want you know to be uh, treated in a bad way so which is why i don't wish to treat somebody else in a bad way so hope you guys understand guys the wires that you are actually seeing are for cable uh, bus trains etc i've already mentioned to you guys that you will see houses and buildings stick to each other they look beautiful just like this one in front of me Now, um, we are in the urban area right now, the city area, so you will sm uh, find small parks etc close by. The fast foods are here also and a um, lot of Indian population is in San Francisco also. So which is why if you are Indian and if you are craving for Indian foods, you will find good Indian foods here. As for me, I like Indian and Mexican both. I um, if you're an islander, you know, and if you're missing island food, uh, you will find Hawaiian food restaurants here too. So you can see the traffic is now going upwards, and look at those apartments and buildings. Here is the service station. or the gas station so my friends stay tuned throughout the videos enjoy the background music and the sceneries Soon we are about to enter the residential area. Check out the houses and their beauty here. And see their community or neighborhood. The way it has been structured. It looks so beautiful.
friends, we are just about to reach the beach area. Here we are at the beach. Now, at this beach, we don't have to pay any fee, but a parking is required. If you do not find the parking, you cannot use the beach area because uh, parking is required. Otherwise, you will have to travel. So you can see that it was very busy because uh, the beach area was very much crowded not not that much crowded you did have spaces in between but then the vehicle and the car park was really crowded you can see it's so fully occupied all these uh, car parks and some of the vehicles are parked on the side though from the vehicle one or two people will be outside in the in the beach area others might be traveling from their nearby apartments or hotels We finally are at the beach. This is our pop-up tent. We also have our mat with us. As you can see, it's plastic. And some folding chair, beach ball, food and sand uh, playing toys for my daughter and a wagon that we used to carry. Look at the beach and look at the waves. It's so beautiful. This is the setup. So that was a mini picnic that we had at the beach. Now we are returning back to Fremont. Guys, you might be questioning why are they going to Fremont? We are just, um, um, you know, uh, on the road trip and uh, my husband decided why not travel to the next city because it's just close by and we will be grabbing lunch uh, from there sorry not lunch uh, our uh, food to go from there um, it's just food in Fremont is very delicious and we are right now craving for some um, Indian food and which is why we are traveling towards Fremont Right now we are again climbing up the mountain. Look at the sceneries here. Friends, can you see how the houses are connected to each other? They look so beautiful.
here we are crossing um, are going under the bridge uh, towards Fremont Fremont is very close to San Francisco you will find a lot of Indians also in that area friends here I will be leaving rest of the video for you to watch and enjoy soon we will be reaching uh, Fremont as we have already left San Francisco as I did mention to you guys so say, stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you thank you for watching this video